we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Aquarius, guess what, it's 4-4, four, 4-4, four. Four, four, four. yep. All right, so Aquarius, um, I don't know, you could be seeing 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot, please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So Aquarius, a lot going on. It's a lot going on. You know, I, just, I keep hearing that old school song. I got a testimony. He woke me up. I got a. So some of you have a testimony. Some of you have been through something. Your testimony can really help a lot of people. Um help them see that it's, it's going to be a brighter day. Okay. Another song, right? Um, <laughs> help them see that, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel that you, sometimes you got to go through to go through. The only way through is through, right? Um, some of you do have that testimony, but it, it, it's, um, you're coming out on the other side, you're coming out renewed. So this is a beautiful thing, Aquarius. When I was, uh, meditating off camera for you, what I got for you was gold. So I don't know what that, what that means for you. Aquarius gold is of course valuable. Um, you know, gold, you could, tr you could trade in gold. Um, we don't anymore, but, um, something about valuable gold is also malleable. If you, you know, heat it up to a certain degree. So something about gold, um, try it in true, try it in the fire gold. And then what I got for you, Aquarius, maybe it'll come out in the cards. Um, uh, the fruits of the spirit. So look up the fruit. I know it's meekness, kindness, and so forth. Um, the fruits of the spirit. Okay. So that could, you know, um, be something that you need to kind of drill down on research, incorporate in your life fruits of the spirit. And then lastly, I got red and then passion. So red, it was like very red. And then there was just like passion. So I don't know that could be going on for you. A lot of passion, or maybe you're following uh, your passionate pers uh, pursuits. I think there's like raw passion here. You need to kind of learn how to, um, this is like unbridled passion. So you got to learn how to kind of govern, govern yourself. Uh, don't lash out. I don't know. Maybe there's somebody trying to tempt you test you, put you in a place of, um, you know, coming out of yourself, coming out of a box on the air, um, or coming out of a bag on them. Like just, you know, um, maybe you've been too quiet or you've been quiet too long. It's time to turn up. I don't know. Maybe that's how you feel. Uh, let's see what the cards have to say for Aquarius. What do we have to say for Aquarius in terms of gold, the word gold, um, the, the metal gold, what about what 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 can we say? I heard the sun card. Okay, the fool card. All right, so it looks like um with gold here, the fool card. So okay, fool's gold. Ooh, somebody's coming in false. Okay, that could be significant for you. 
and maybe going on in your life somebody's trying to come in and fool you fool's gold um it's not really gold um it's a different type of metal um someone's trying to fool you and thinking that you know um they are the real thing or real gold um someone's trying to get you to set your sights on them put your energy effort time back into them um, the fool card they could be trying to fool you stir you steer you in a, a new direction um, they're trying to have something developed between the two of you um, they could see you as you know like uh, fun fabulous and, and you not even knowing you know the power the magnitude of uh, of your power of you just you um, they could be trying to what is the fool card here you may have also you might strike gold you know, and just taking the leap of faith, um, stepping out there on faith, following your dream, your heart's desire, the two of swords. Yeah. Um, what you don't see around the corner is, um, great success. Okay. With the two of swords in the, in the full card, um, you know, the inability to move or to decide. Um, but if you decide there is success here, you're not sure if you should reconcile, if you can reconcile or put your differences aside. You're putting somebody off right now. Um, you're just not sure about it. You you rather make a decision some other time when you have more uh, you have more insight, okay? You have more knowledge of. There's more time that has elapsed. Maybe when you go get some type of insight from someone in regards to how to move in this relationship in this situation, uh, cooperation. Also, okay, let's see what is going on here for gold, six of pentacles, okay, equal give and take, money, wealth, showing your devotion or your love by way of um, money or wealth or, or your money. Someone could just give you just enough to get you hung or get you stuck on them, get you hung up on them. Yeah. Someone's trying to, so you're not able to see what this person really wants or yeah, the ten of swords and this could definitely, <coughs> excuse me, read as fool's gold. You know, somebody trying to get you to um, come out and play. Um, they want a no strings attached type of relationship. They're trying to act like they're the one that they can give you or, or make all your dreams come true. And they really don't have any, you know, anything to give or they don't have any um, plans on doing that. Um, the two of swords, they don't want you to see it. You know, they want you to bury your head in the sand and only look at the good things. Only look at what they've given you thus far or the time spent thus far or the little thing that they gave you thus far. They might leave you disappointed. Or they may get disappointed, maybe because you don't take to their offer. Somebody might, uh, the inability to cope with the fact that it's just over, it's done, it's no more, it's nothing else. You can't put another knife in my back because, you know, um, I already see the tricks, the games that you play. This relationship was way too volatile, up and down. Something about um, falling apart, collapse, you know? Um, somebody could even be trying to make you collapse or make your business collapse, make something collapse for you, fall apart, failure, or hoping, wishing on your downfall, praying for your downfall. Fool's gold. Something isn't real. Somebody, a friend or somebody around you isn't real. They're not a real friend. They're, man, you know, manipulating the energy or making it look like one way, but it's really the other way. They really don't have good intentions at heart for you. They say little, small, nice things to you or about you, but that's just to keep you in the energy of giving or sharing. But they really have sinister plans for you or they really just hope that your shit just fall apart, you know? All right, so let's, let's uh, talk about what was the other, um, so it was gold and then it was, um, the fruits of the spirit, the fruits of the spirit, the fruits of the spirit. I heard like, you, you don't have to like turn up on this person. Um, you need to practice meekness or kindness. 
You already see through them. What's going on here for Aquarius? Yeah, the moon card and the justice card. Yeah, definitely. So it's like you already know what it is. You already know what you're dealing with, with the moon card and the justice card here showing up. So it's just like uh, the lies, the, the deception. Um, you're seeing through it or somebody's getting their karma. Or somebody wants to apologize or... Um, you're not being easily swayed because the justice card talks about not being swayed by beauty, but resting in um, fairness, logic, you know, so you, you're looking at what is logical, what is fair, what, what has been done thus far. Um, you're not going to be swayed by something that somebody gives you or a gift or the little um, sweet nothings that they say, but uh, you could be having vivid dreams also right now about people who are not even in your life anymore. Um, these people maybe even want to make amends with you, apologize to you, come back to you, talk to you. They feel karmically indebted to you. If you're not, sh you might be showing up in their dreams too. They may be prompted to come to you, M making your enemies your footstool. The c the fruits of the spirit, kindness, meekness, love, I believe. So some of these people were horrible to you. It's going to be, you know, a test of who you really are have you really ascended are you a better person now when they do come back to you because you know they once again these people have not been great to you so you know maybe your first response in your old self would be to you know treat them how they treated you i don't think you're gonna do that you want to be kind you're gonna be um, fair you know it doesn't mean that we're gonna be friends again or we're gonna be best uh, cousins again or whatever we were but it just means that thank you for the apology and then we, we we kindly depart ways and move on it's not that we continue the relationship we pick up where we left off it's okay to move move in our separate ways so this this is what's happening here for uh, some of you in regards to uh, the fruits of the spirit yeah two of cups yeah somebody wants to heal the severed connection. It could be romantic. It could be platonic. It could be anything. It could be in business. It's just like, okay, well, thank you for your um, apology. Thank you for, uh, you know, admitting that. And uh, I wish you well. Boom. And we're moving on. It, it's nothing, nothing more, nothing less. Um, somebody is being prompted to come to you and, um, yeah, decide to apologize to you to make something right. It's like before they can move forward, they can get over you, absolutely get over you, or get over what they did to you. They're going to have to apologize to you. Yeah, making your enemies your footstool. They're going to have to bow down to you, but not only to you, but to the God that you serve. You know, um, this is also a reward for you being faithful. you showing up true, kind. Okay, the fruits of the Spirit. Wow. Maybe they have been administered to you. They have been gifted to you, and now you know. Um, or, or you, you display those when this person comes back to you, you're not going to treat them like they treated you. You're not going to, um, stump on them or stump on their heart. You're going to be compassionate, but also you're going to be assertive, firm. Okay. Um, and then last we got passion, red passion. What was this red and passion about? I know it started off kind of slow guys, but I hope you're still here. Six of Wands, okay. And then this one to come out, Five of Swords, there you go. So this, I, I, I knew that this was gonna be kind of sinister, right? Somebody is absolutely jealous, envious, mad at you for just being you, for being in the spotlight, for taking your rightful place wherever it is you belong, for moving on, choosing not to, you know, wrestle with uh, flesh and blood, but, um, you understand that you were wrestling with um, principalities and spirits in, in high places. Come on. And then also, you know, um, this is your time, okay? And you may be getting a lot of shine, a success, help in business. Jupiter is here, expansion, okay? You may be getting called upon, chosen, maybe even become famous, famous for. Uh, everything is balancing out in your life. But look, this is what stalks you, the five of swords. Um, somebody who could be envious, jealous, um, they feel defeat or they feel defeated or they don't, they feel like they're not a part of, or they want to be a part of, they feel like maybe you left them hanging or out to dry to hang man. You could be dealing with a Piscean here who feels this way. Um, this person, uh, you may have sacrificed maybe this relationship. So you let it go. 
Okay, let it hang out. You got some enlightenment about it. You just kind of let it dissipate, go out on its own. You didn't give your Easter speech or a long dissertation about how you need to, uh, we need to separate and we, nope, you just kind of just let it, let it die, you know, naturally uh, of natural causes. <laughs> um, five of swords here. Yeah, this person is, um, or these people or this group of people or something about maybe even trying to run interference. These people are red, you know, mad, red, red mad as a hatter. Um, you know, red with passion, but the passion isn't good. It's like, it's bad. It's like, you know, wanting to take you out, take you down, wanting to win at all costs, defeat, sabotage. Okay. This was maybe even sacrifice. Wow. We got sacrifice coming up here and in the, uh, um, hanging man also, maybe they're trying to sacrifice you or, um, or they want to they want to be in your place okay backstab was all the time trying to take your place um let's see what's going on here let's get an outcome for the aquarius it looks like you'll be shining shining bright aquarius taking the high road strutting your stuff walking off and strutting your stuff um this could have been a cheating scenario where you found out that somebody was a cheater a liar deceptive didn't have anything to offer you and you just kind of moved on and they're at a place of, um, they feel defeated, okay? They feel like they, they're getting left behind. They feel like they're still trying to hang on or hang in there, but you're kind of sacrificing them. They can't go with you on this journey, this road here that you're taking. Let's see what the outcome is for Aquarius. What is the outcome for Aquarius? Okay, very nice. Four of Pentacles. These cards right here, you about to be famous. Um, I, I get the Four of Pentacles when I you know ask the cards you know to myself what cards indicate success excuse me this is success what cards indicate fame the four of pentacles because it's something that you have to maintain you know um you could be famous this year and maybe for the next five years and then you fall off the map and you're working at the local grocery store so fame is something that you have to maintain you know um once famous doesn't mean always famous i guess um, with the four of pentacles, you're going to come into a newfound wealth, stability. Okay. Aquarius. It says, if you're thinking about that, you need to partner with somebody, you need to go get a partner. It says, go it along with the four of pentacles. You're going to have success, help in business, business matters. It could even be your career. It doesn't mean that you have to have your own business. Um, yeah, it looks like you're going to be stable here. Okay. What is the outcome for Aquarius? This looks really, really good. Uh, five of pen, five of cups. So we got a lot of fives here. So somebody here who operated in a lot of lawlessness. They operated in a lot of chaos. I heard chaos magic. Maybe even again trying to sacrifice you. Um, so Aquarius, you got somebody here who operated in a lot of chaos and they brought chaotic energy to you. They tried to keep you stuck. But it looks like you come out on top. You transmuted the energy and turned it around for the better, for the good, for yourself. This person is going to be extremely disappointed. They already feel de defeated. Um, they feel like they, they want to recover the relationship, but they can't. They don't know what to say, how to say it, how to do it. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with another Aquarius. Um, we well, yeah, have Scorpio coming out the, the tower. You know, all of a sudden, some sudden upheaval, maybe of someone's emotions, somebody from your past, somebody that you have historical uh, or history with or historical value. This person all of a sudden, you know, um, all of a sudden something comes out or, or it, maybe all of a sudden they feel this way about you. Once they see that you, you know, you're successful and you're famous and you're known. What is this? Seven of Wands, they come in like a destructive, um, they come in uh in that destructive manner, wanting to destruct. So you've constructed something. So you built something up, right? And they want to come in and destruct, just tear it down. They want to come in with that destructive uh, force, the seven of wands. They want you to set your sights on them. Put your attention on me. This is someone trying hard to get your attention and maintain it. This is somebody that be proactive in protecting yourself, putting up your protective measures, 
saying your protective prayers over yourself. There's somebody here who wants to tear down everything that you're building or have built. Um, the seven of wands, they want to come in and just, you know, demolish everything. You know, um, if you don't want to be with them or if you don't want me, you shouldn't have anything. Two of cups, it could be a cancer, it could be a Leo, it could be anybody. It doesn't have to be um, those particular signs. Um, the two of cups is somebody coming in, you know, uh, union, wanting a union with you, you know, going to be very forceful in regards to trying to have union with you or reunion with you. They want you to forgive and forget, let bygones be bygones, let it go. They don't want to talk about So this isn't true reconciliation. And we know here at the channel, true reconciliation is when you and your person come back together and you confess your shortcomings to one another. Okay. Um, it causes for humility to happen. Therefore, the relationship can actually get a healthy start. All right. But this person doesn't want that. They just want to, you know, hey, we good together. We have good chemistry and I miss you and I want to be in a one-on-one -on -one relationship and forgive me. The outcome, the page of swords and the fortune. So, um, and the will of fortune. So it's like something you've done, um, ideas that come to you, uh, ideas of money making, they're going to actually pan out for you. Um, somebody also wants to know how you're making your money. It could be a circle, a group of people. Um, someone wants to know how you changed your fortune, how you shifted your fortune. What did you use? Somebody feels like you used something or you took something or you, you do something or you do some type of magic. They want to know what's going on. How did you change your fortune? How are you sitting amongst a different circle of people? How are you helping other people? Um, why is the universe, you know, um, blessing you um, with this? Is this a part of your destiny or um, I don't know. This Somebody is very inquisitive, curious about how you shifted your fortune, how you changed, how you changed yourself. Last card for outcome for Aquarius, the chariot card. Very nice. Get cancer coming up heavy in this reading. So it's just like maybe the black and white, getting in control, staying in control of your emotions, Aquarius, staying in control of yourself. Someone could try to bait you into an argument, bait you into um, losing control. Stay in control of your thoughts and your emotions. Don't let anything else force you, push you, govern you, govern yourself accordingly, Aquarius, um, so that you can get to the place that you desire to be so you, that you can see an end result. Also, this could talk about in terms of your goals, because this talks about short term goals. The only way you're going to get that shit done is if you cut out all of the other stuff. Okay. Don't try to tag along everything in your life. Well, I'm going to give Monday to, um, to my friends, we'll give Tuesday to uh, my cats and my dogs, and Wednesday to my grandmother, and Thursday, and then um, on Sunday I'll give you know myself a little bit of time to work on my short-term goals. Okay, well you just divided your your week. Great, great for you. But divided efforts gives divided rewards. You're gonna have to really figure out what you can sacrifice at this time so that you can actually. See your goals come to manifestation, fruition. And it's not that you have to cut someone off, it, like, um, definitely. You know, but it's just like, you just have to say, hey, I, you're going to have to take a back seat to my life right now because I'm trying to get some things done and I just don't have time for that. I don't have time to date or I don't have time to babysit or I don't have time to whatever. I just don't have time for it. Um, it's not that it was going to always be like that. But it's like that right now. You might have to get somebody that speech, okay? Can't make it up. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is very good for maybe a large sum of money, starting a new business, starting strength training. This also talks about working out. Um, this is very good, but it says with the Ace of Pentacles, this is just the seed being planted, right? You have to water it. You have to cultivate it. You have to give this 150%. You cannot do that when you're dividing yourself and your efforts, okay? So Aquarius, it looks like you're going to get the seed for wealth planted somewhere fertile. And uh, con excuse me, continue to cultivate it, continue to grow, continue to move forward. And don't let anybody take you off on your life's trajectory. You need to get your astrological chart and look at where you should be, what you should be doing, where you're good at. If you don't know how to read that, get with a reader. 
you know, so that you can move forward, so that you can make strides forward. This is um, the underdog coming up, you know. This is somebody who was counted out, discounted. And now you're going to, I think you want to be on display here, Aquarius. This is the universe putting you in that Merkabot and just propelling you to the place where you're supposed to be, okay? This could even be medicine, I have med medicinal. This could even be something in regards to that. Um, someone wants to pick your brain in regards to how did you come up with that or how did you do that or how, how did you get that? How are you there when you used to be over here? Um, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Let me know where you are viewing from. I want to shout you out too. Um, Aquarius, if you're a business-minded individual and you want to be around other business-minded, uh, like-minded individuals, go ahead and sign up for the KTMG wait list. There is a wait list, but get on the wait list, okay, so that you can get valuable information about business startup furthering your business, maintaining business, okay? And then also, if you already are in business or you want to start up or you want to see if I can help you with your uh, business goals, go ahead and schedule your discovery call. It's complimentary. Um, we can get on the call. It is about business. Nothing more, nothing else. Please don't get hung up on, okay? Uh, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.